Jackson Baker, and we are doing pre-cal today. So we are giving this recursive function. It is. Um, it starts us off with a1 is 9, a sub k plus 1 equals k times a sub k. So recursion is a thing that's used in computers a lot, and it's basically a function that calls itself. Like if we want to know what a sub 5 is, we would need to know what a sub 4 is, and to know what a sub 4 is, we need to know what a sub 3 is, and it goes on like that. So we're supposed to find the first five terms of this um, function, or sequence, series, um, and it gives us a1 to start with, because it kind of has to in this case. So there's two ways to solve this problem. There's the way they want us to do it, and then there's the cool way, and I'm going to show you both of them. So another way to say a sub 2 is a sub 1 plus 1. We can see here that k is clearly 1 in this situation. So 1 times a sub 1. a sub 1 is 9. That gets us 9. 9 for the second term as well. So a sub 3 is a sub 2 plus 1, which is 2 times a sub 2, which is 2 times 9, 18. a sub 4 is a sub 3 plus 1 equals 3 times a sub 3, 3 times 18, 54. a sub 5, same thing, a sub 4 plus 1, 4 times a sub 4, equals 4 times 54, 216. Alright, so that was the way they wanted you to do it, but here's the cool way. So you can see that we are multiplying by something that increases by 1 every time. We're multiplying by 1 here, multiplying by 2 to get here, multiplying by 3 to get here, multiplying by 4 to get here. To some of you, this may seem familiar with something called factorial. For instance, 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1. And then like 5 factorial, 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So that will cover all of these gaps that we'll have to make. So we are going to say a sub n equals what we start with as a sub 1 equals 9 times n minus 1 factorial. You might be wondering why we add the minus 1. It's because if we plug in 1, we get 0 factorial, which is 1, and we still get 9. But we still have to have 9 for this one. So we plug in 2, and we still get 1 factorial, which is 1, and you get 9. Go to a sub 3, and then you get 2 factorial, 18, 4, 3 factorial, and it goes on like that. If any of you were curious, now we can know the 12th. Um, a sub 12, which is 9 times 11 factorial, which happens to be 359,251,200. And now we can find that without even knowing like a sub 10, a sub 11, a sub 9. We don't need any of that. Find a sub 12. So that was the cool way and the way they want you to do it. Um, thanks for watching.